How often have you grabbed that Advil, Aleve, Ibuprofen, or had a high dose of aspirin and not realized that the side effects from taking these common over-the-counter drugs can damage the lining of your gut, cause other gut health related issues and actually trigger inflammation. Well, if you do have gut health issues and you've been taking what are known as NSAIDs, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, then this video is a must watch because I'm gonna break down how they work, common side effects and provide alternative ways to alleviate pain and steps you must take immediately to heal your gut. Hi, I'm Ben Angel and I teach people how to biohack their way back to health. Before we dive in, hit like, subscribe and click the link below to join thousands of others who have already downloaded my brand new book, Mind Control, to learn how to biohack their gut, mind and mood. You know, so many of us have these common painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs to help reduce pain, fever and inflammation in our medicine cabinet. However, taking them on a daily basis isn't really getting to the root cause of the pain or the inflammation. In researching my latest book on gut health, I spoke to doctors in gut brain access research from MIT, Stanford, Harvard Lifestyle Medicine and the Gut Institute to uncover the missing links between gut health and mood. And aside from antibiotics, which I've discussed at length in an earlier video, NSAIDs quickly became a second major cause of concern. But before we get to that, let's take a look at how they actually work. NSAIDs work by stopping the production of chemicals in your body called prostaglandins, which promote inflammation, pain, and fever by blocking cyclooxygenase enzymes. However, prostaglandins also protect the intestinal lining. So it's a catch-22. NSAIDs stop pain, but by stopping the intestinal protective prostaglandins, they also damage the gut lining. NSAIDs cause an estimated 41,000 hospitalizations and 3,300 deaths each year among older adults here in the US. They also not only cause blood clots and interfere with aspirin's ability to thin blood, NSAIDs also cause an increase of systolic blood pressure and fluid retention. Other side effects are gastrointestinal problems, esophagus lesions, and ulcers in the stomach lining. The long-term use of NSAIDs like ibuprofen can also increase intestinal permeability. Intestinal permeability is the medical term for leaky gut, which occurs when the gut lining is damaged and isn't able to function effectively as a barrier anymore. Small holes in the intestines become bigger and inflamed and allow undigested particles to enter your system. This creates a firestorm of inflammation that develops into conditions like Crohn's disease, IBS, celiac, and small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, otherwise known as SIBO. And here's a real kicker. Any of these intestinal bowel diseases can lead to mental health symptoms and distress. In a Taiwanese study of 4,500 IBS patients, researchers found that half of these patients suffered from depression and anxiety from abnormal and inexplicable symptoms. They also found that IBS patients were at a higher than average risk of developing bipolar disorder, but not schizophrenia. The bottom line? Gut health is mental health and the medications that you take matter. What are natural alternatives that you can take that work just as well as NSAIDs without as many side effects? Ginger is a great alternative since it's been proven to contain strong antioxidant compounds that reduce inflammation and lessens the acidity in your joint fluids easing pain. A study showed the efficacy of ginger in various forms from raw to cooked as a tincture and tea, as well as essential oil rubbed on topically as an analgesic for pain. Other natural remedies that are anti-inflammatory and analgesic are curcumin, found in turmeric, and capsaicin, found in red peppers. They both block the pain receptors from reaching the brain. Studies have shown that curcumin is especially effective in helping people with rheumatoid arthritis. So what should you do if you've been taking NSAIDs and your gut health is failing? And you're also experiencing other symptoms such as depression, anxiety, and brain fog. First step, speak to your doctor about alternatives. Second step, Heal your gut. We've had IBS sufferers feel better within a matter of weeks by following the protocol in my brand new book, Mind Control. But here's some tips to give you a head start. To alleviate digestive issues, begin by addressing your medications, including any antibiotics you may have taken. Antibiotics increase your chances of depression and anxiety. Consider taking a gut health test and getting personalized probiotics instead of the ones off the shelf, as these are gonna target your specific lack of certain bacteria that are required to create feel-good neurons neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin. Probiotics are essential for the reaping, digestion and utilization from the nutrients in your food. You don't want to skip this step. 
Keep a food journal for a few weeks to pinpoint foods that you're now more sensitive to more than normal due to a gut imbalance that could have been caused by NSAIDs or antibiotics. This is going to help you to identify certain trigger foods that you may have to cut back on for a little while while you rebalance your gut microbiome. Limit your sugar and carbs as these are fuel sources for bad bacteria and opportunistic yeast such as candida. And make sure you get plenty of sleep and reduce stress as much as humanly possible. Both factors play a major role in gut and mental health. If you'd like more detailed help on this, download a copy of Mind Control from the link below and start reading within a couple of minutes. And if you happen to find that your gut health has deteriorated and it coincides with depression and anxiety, make sure you register for the Biohacker's Guide to Dismantling Depression Workshop, in which you'll use our online tool to find out what's causing your depression, low energy and drive, then I'll step you through a comprehensive approach to getting your life back. Check out the details below because it's filling fast. Finally, hit like, subscribe and drop me a comment. Have you had any nasty side effects from NSAIDs? Because I guarantee that you're not the only one. Share below so we can support one another and I'll catch you next time. Take care.